What's up, friends? Fellow card collectors, Card Obvious here, and it's time for another Binder Bites. Um, just going to jump into this real quick so I don't ramble too much uh, from the get-go. So this player, so you can play a little guessing game uh, ooh, while the opening credits roll. This player made their debut in 1980. Uh, actually, let me start over. This player was born in 1959 in Easton, Maryland. Uh, made their Major League debut in 1980. Played 22 seasons in the league. Was an eight-time All-Star. Uh, finished his career with uh, 2,866 hits. And yeah, that's all I got. <laughs> Not much else to say about this Hall of Famer. Um, I'm pretty sure you can guess it just by the tone of my voice. But let's roll the credits and see who you guessed. If you guessed Mr. Harold Baines, you would be correct. Probably one of the more controversial Hall of Fame picks uh, of the past few years. Um, I think the more controversial, well, just as controversial maybe was Jim Rice before him. Um, but I think Jim Rice is more accepted as a Hall of Famer, more widely accepted than Harold Baines is. Uh, Harold Baines, his election to Hall of Fame was very surprising. He never got over 6% on the ballot. And then all of a sudden the Veterans Committee puts him in. So it was pretty wild. Total surprise that Harold Baines got in. Not saying Harold Baines is not a good player. I mean, he was a great player. Just, in my opinion, wasn't a Hall of Famer. Um, but it is what it is. The Veterans voted him in, the Veterans Committee. Um, just one of those guys that get in. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of guys from other eras that got in that, you know, don't really stand up as well. Their numbers don't stand up as well, you know, as time has gone on and I think Harold's there in that category Harold you know played a lot of seasons was mainly a DH yeah just I'm, I'm not gonna ramble too much about Harold Baines being in the Hall of Fame he's in the Hall of Fame so I collect Harold Baines because I collect Hall of Famers that's my main collection um but yeah let's go ahead and get into the cards here uh congrats if you guessed to Harold Baines so starting off we got a 1987 boardwalk in baseball um Harold Baines with the White Sox which I believe is probably the team is most known known for playing with, although he played for multiple teams. Uh, here is a 1990 Bowman when he's on the Rangers. And this is a 95 Collector's Choice as an Oriole. And then a 82 Donruss as a White Sox. So a little bit younger Harold Baines there. 85 Donruss. 86 Donruss. 89 Donruss. And then 90 Donruss, and then another 90 Donruss. I don't think I have any multiples of 90 Donruss, um, of the dot, no dot variations, what have you. I really don't care for the whole no dot, dot conversation. All right, next up we got 91 Donruss, some dust on this page. And then we got a 94 Finest, followed by 82 Fleer. And then um, 84 Fleer. 86 Fleer, 88 Fleer. So I guess um, Baines really liked wearing his hat under his helmet. Looking at a lot of these, uh, especially the older ones, I noticed a few pictures where he's wearing his uh, baseball cap under the helmet. Just, it always reminds me of Little League because a lot of Little Leaguers did it. <laughs> Here is a uh, 93 Fleer as an Oakland A, and then 94 Fleer. And then back with the White Sox for 97 Fleer here, the bottom right. And then we got a 87 Fleer Mini, another cap under the helmet. Uh, this is one of those Kraft uh, cutout cards from Kraft Foods, this is 87. Um, I was actually just watching a video from RJ Collect Sets where he's giving away a uh, Mike Schmidt, one of these, and Don Mattingly um, panel uncut. And then we got a Leaf from 85. And then we got 92 Pinnacle, followed by 90 Score, followed by a 95 Select. Definitely reaching for a pitch there. And then we got 95 SP, followed by 96 SP, and then 92 Stadium Club. Then we have a 2016 Stadium Club here. This is the uh, Gold Foil. Gold foil on the name and the logo up there. Cool card. Just love the photography on Stadium Club. It's 
the main draw of it. Uh, we got a 92 Studio, Harold Baines. And then we got uh, Throwback Threads, or I think it's Throwback Threads, right? Throwback Collection, Harold Baines. I think this is an area for a jersey or something. It's just the design on this card. It's just like you got all this this blank space here. And it, I don't know, it just feels really empty on a baseball card. Um, 83 tops here. And then the 86 tops. 87 tops. 88 tops. 89 tops. And 90 tops. Harold Baines. And then one last page. We got the 93 tops. All by 2000. And then this 2000. 20th century's best Harold Baines. I really don't think Harold was 20th century's best. He was really good. But he, I, I wouldn't put him in the category of best. Um, I mean, Edgar Martinez was playing at the same time and was, in my opinion, a way better designated hitter than Harold Baines. Uh, this is a 2000 tops Chrome. And then a... Right Aid MVPs, um, 1988, and then the last card is a 1993 Upper Deck Harold Baines. As you can see, I don't have really all that many Harold Baines cards. What is that? What do I have? Four pages? Three pages? Four full pages, so that's 36, and then another six cards. So that's, what, 42 Harold Baines cards um, total that I have in my Hall of Fame binder. So real quick, uh, at least by my standards, real quick. Uh, binder bites there. Uh, appreciate all you watching. What do you think about uh, Mr. Harold Baines? Let me get the focus. I always like forget to turn the focus back on when when I'm done looking at cards, and when I realize, I'm like, man, people just listen to me ramble against a blurry background, and I'm not even like doing, you know, jazz hands or talking with my hands out here. Um, <laughs> but yeah, what do you think about Harold Baines being in the Hall of Fame? Um, was it a surprise to you, or do you have no opinion? Does it not matter to you? Do you think he belongs in there? Are you a White Sox fan? Are you a big Harold Baines fan as well? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments below. I mean, every uh, every opinion is valid on it. And I'm not saying I'm the right opinion by saying Harold Baines does not belong in the Hall of Fame. Because he is in the Hall of Fame. And because he is in the Hall of Fame, I collect him. So therefore, I have the right to collect Harold Baines because he's in the Hall of Fame. Regardless of what I think about how he got in or whether he was worthy of getting into the Hall of Fame. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, I don't know what video I'm going to do next. I may do a quick hitter. I haven't ripped some packs in a while. Yeah, I'm like, I don't have my uh, my schedule planned out. Like, I remember I used to be like real rigid on my schedule. I'd do a, a mail day on Monday and then I'd do a off the cuff or, or whatever other video on a Wednesday. And then Friday I would do a Fairfield and then do it all again the next week. Um, I'm, I'm not really, I'm just going with the flow and uploading and recording when I feel like it. <laughs> it's a lot easier this way. Um, a lot less stressful. Before I used to stress over making videos. Um, and now I only stress about rambling at the end of videos. So remember, you can only control two things. It's your thoughts and your actions. Stay positive. Keep filling up your binders. Keep collecting your Harold Baines if you collect Harold Baines. Collect Harold Baines. I'm not dogging Harold Baines about being in the Hall of Fame. I'm just dogging the Hall of Fame voters for putting Harold Baines in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> um, but if you collect Harold Baines, uh, do a video. Make a video about uh, collecting Harold Baines and why you think he was such a great player. Especially if you're a White Sox fan, because I'm sure he, you know, he's a huge player for you. There was players that played for the Braves that weren't Hall of Famers, but were huge you know, for the Braves over the years. Players like, like I said, my favorite player of the Braves early years was uh, Ron Gant. Huge Ron Gant fan. Um, total player for the Braves, uh, but he's not a Hall of Famer. Jeff Blauser is another one. Avi Lopez. Uh, all played big roles for the Braves back in the day, and uh, but they're not Hall of Famers, but you know, I still collect them because I'm a Braves fan. Um, but once again, I'm rambling. Uh, so stay positive. Keep collecting, keep collecting cards. Keep supporting each other. And I'll catch you all later as I end my ramble now. Peace.